So I prayed a lot. And I was in the midst of my infertility, desperately wanting to have a child and finishing rabbinical school. And I was now in uh, 38 years, going to be 38 years old. And I thought, this is ridiculous. What am I going to do? And I just have to pray harder. And I remember I used to stay after before I would lock up and I would just pray and pray and pray and say the prayers over again and pray and pray and pray and just begging God to help me get pregnant, begging and begging. And it was about April, I remember, because it was right before the, high, uh, the Passover. I stayed again, and I opened the ark. It was just me. I closed the doors, and I was praying my heart out. And I had this holy moment, this epiphany, this amazing moment of, oh. And I started crying, tears streaming down my face. And I said, I got it. You, you answered my prayer, and the answer was no. I, I don't think I ever understood until that moment that if you ask for something in prayer, the answer could actually be no. I just I cried my heart out. I had to miss my next class. I, I just released it. And then I spent another hour or two. I didn't move. I locked the door. I locked myself in. I was just there. And I started to pray again, and I said, all right, God. So if I'm not going to have my own child, because the answer is no, then in what ways can I figure out how to have a child to love and take care of? I just want to be able to take care of a child. And I know there's probably a child out there who needs me. So how are you, am you gonna, can you help me open myself up to an experience of what I need to do next? And a great calm came over me. It was so peaceful. And it was a great letting go. And in a moment that I use as a teaching moment, because I think too often, even as mature, sophisticated adults, we think if we pray, we're going to get what we want. Um, my professor, Rabbi uh, Gilman, um, Neil Gilman, used to say, God isn't the great bellhop in the sky. You know, that word bellhop, we don't use that. But God's not the waiter in the sky that just gives you what you order. You know, sometimes the answer is no. We, we think we know what's right for ourselves, but with faith you understand that maybe it's not what we really need, what we're ordering up. So that was the holy, a holy one of many holy moments, but a, a spiritually profound and deep and holy moment when I realized sometimes an answer is no.